Hopefully my setup is good. Here we go. Okay, letters. Selected outcome of the round. X. X is going to be rock, and rock will be its scissors. So rock beats scissors. If we win, this is like really bad, but um, and if we tie, okay. this paper is gonna be rock. First code I've ever had. Um, oh, shit. Rank thirty three. Wish you to choose the round ends as indicated. X means you need to lose. Okay, ack. Okay, so basically, if X means you lose, um, sorry, X means you lose. Okay, the way to lose against rock is to play. This is the worst way to cook this, but we do it this way anyways. Lose against rock, you play scissors. Um, if y for draw, it's gonna be this. And for z, if you need to win against rock, you play paper. Okay. Just be operate this. Win against, or sorry, lose against paper. You play. To lose against rock, you play. I'm just sitting, checking my first one. To lose against rock, you play scissors. Yes. Okay, these should just permute. So once I have this one, um, x to z, y to z. So to lose against B paper, to lose against paper, you need to play rock. So we 
have x. So x, okay, this is going to be other than 3, I think. And that means that this one is going to be to y, y maps to z, z maps to x. So what we're going to do now Okay, rank 38. Whew. Oh, man. Whew. Yeah, I was definitely going a little bit slow compared to what I could have been doing. Whew. I'm still pretty happy with uh, 33 and 38. I'm happy the leaderboard again on day two. Three minutes, nine seconds. Yeah, this was probably the worst way <laughs> to write this code. Um, I didn't even finish writing this comment. Whew, uh, okay. Yeah, so I think this this was basically an implementation day. Um, they just told you what to do and you just had to implement it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I wonder what the best way to like encode this was. I basically did, like, I hard-coded everything. Um, and then for the second round, since I already hard coded like the results, what I did basically was I said like for the second round things change from um, like x y z meaning rock paper scissors to x y z meaning you you need to lose draw or win. So I just decided to convert this back into an input for part one. Uh, so I made this lookup table, which is like if our opponent is playing rock and we need to lose, then we need to play scissors, um, which Back in the old scheme for part one was a Z. Um, so like, terrible code, but probably the fastest way I could have done this, it, given the way that I wrote part one. I think if I wrote part one in a better way, maybe there would have been, there probably would have been a better way to do part two. Um, but yeah, the whole code is gonna look something like this. I guess like I can encode it like this. Oops, F is already defined. Let's call this the M because it's the map. It's super fine. And the way this worked was I did like F S, the new S. See that's my my inputs, my outputs. Yep, okay, cool. That matches. Whew. Uh yeah, I think today I definitely did like a I just ran with the implementation. I didn't really think very hard about how to do it properly. <clears throat> Is there a much better way to do this? I'm sure there is, and I'm just not thinking very carefully. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think today wasn't too complicated. I definitely didn't do it the best way. I feel like there's a better way. Um, just thinking kind of slowly tonight. But yeah, um, I think I'll end the recording here. Still overall pretty happy with my results. All right.